Well, Europe is struggling to find the same level of unity over Russia. Since the beginning of the war, the bloc has failed to present a united front. No matter what they say, the threats from Moscow are growing. The latest one comes from a state broadcaster. It has issued this warning to the United Kingdom and Ireland. Stop support to Ukraine or face a nuclear tsunami. That is the threat. Here's a report. Другой вариант погрузить Британию в морскую пучину. Российский подводный робот беспилотник. It was a brazen threat from one of Russia's top propagandists. Last Sunday, a Russian state TV presenter issued a chilling warning. Нет никакого способа остановить этот подводный дрон. The threat came with a simulation. A missile would launch from a Russian submarine. The broadcaster claimed it would raise a nuclear tsunami. Такой водяной шквал является еще и носителем экстремальных доз радиации. One that will turn the UK into a radioactive desert and destroy Ireland. Who is the man making these threats? His name is Dmitry Kiselyov. Many consider him to be Russia's chief spin doctor. Kiselyov has a reputation for such extravagant threats. In 2014, he issued similar threats to America. Kiselyov claimed that Russia could turn the United States into radioactive ash. In the same broadcast, he trained his guns on Barack Obama, the then president of the United States. He suggested Obama's hair is graying because of fears about Russia's nuclear arsenal. Thankfully, those threats didn't materialize. But how serious is Russia about attacking the British Isles? Soon after Russia invaded Ukraine, Vladimir Putin escalated the risk of a nuclear face-off. The Russian president put his nuclear deterrent forces on alert. Russia's foreign minister says no one should underestimate the risk. Really, the risks are really considerable and I would not want to elevate those risks artificially. Many would like that. The danger is serious, real, and we must not underestimate it. The United Kingdom is now downplaying the Russian threats. Last week, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he did not expect Russia to use tactical weapons. Ireland has strongly condemned the threats from Moscow. It has called the Russian television broadcast a very sinister, intimidatory type tactic by the Russian Federation. The European Union too has taken notice. It now wants to ban three Russian-owned state broadcasters. 